today I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and dedicate today to just writing and to falling back in love with the craft of writing. I am really struggling a little bit with my writing and specifically my work in progress. It's funny because I feel like in anything that you want to pursue in life, you need to practice. And even if you have a natural ability, the more you do something, in theory, the better you get at it. So why the hell can't I force myself to write? I love writing. It's my passion. I want to be an author someday. I'd love it if you could go out and buy my book in Barnes and Noble. Wouldn't that be a dream? Yes, that would be an absolute dream. Well, I mean, for me anyways. However, I have recently developed a very weird anxiety when it comes to writing my works in progress. There are lots of layers and specifically with the middle grade that I'm working on, there is kind of a plot twist. And because there are things like plot holes that exist, I have to really be careful with the layout and the way that I want everything to kind of unfold. Otherwise, it's not gonna make any sense and it's not gonna work. I'm being so hard on my writing writing style, and every time I sit down to write, it makes me feel really anxious. And that's not what I want at all. I feel like a lot of the times you can tell when somebody really loves what they've written or what they're doing. Obviously, you're not gonna love every second of what you do, like that's not possible. And writing can be a very stressful process. But I'm saying that if every time I write, I am stressed out and anxious, I'm afraid that that's gonna come across on the page. Like it's not gonna seem as solid and passionate as I want it to feel. And so today, my whole goal is just to fall back in love with my work in progress. I'm gonna go downtown to my favorite tea shop. I'm going to have one of my favorite donuts if they have any there. I'm going to order myself something really nice to drink. Fall in love back with the idea of what I really want out of life which is to be a writer, it's, it's to be an author. I think that it's so normal for writers to have lots of anxiety and to put so much pressure on themselves when it comes to writing and their craft of writing. But I just, I wanna remember why I love writing. And I also got a degree in writing. Like I know that the best comes not from the first draft, but from like the third or fourth draft when you are polishing something. But it's just a weird time and I am just stuck in my head. So I'm hoping a change of scenery and really taking my time to make it a fun experience will kind of help shake my funk. You know what I mean? So today is all about falling back in love with writing and specifically with my work in progress. So let's go have fun and write. So I just got in my car. We're about to drive downtown and it is so hot. It's like 90 degrees right now and I just feel like I'm melting. So I was gonna get like hot tea at this tea shop that we're going to, but I might get like something iced. I don't know because it is hot. Let's go to the tea shop. I really hope they have donuts. Sometimes they make donuts and like I really want their donuts. We'll see. Can you see in the back here? Don't look at my car. Don't look at my car. I just, I throw stuff back there sometimes. Don't look. I'm digging through the glove box. I thought I had a map in here. The driver's door doesn't lock. I bought the car my junior year. There's candy in my backpack. And you can pick our soundtrack. We're heading for the East Coast tonight. So pack your bags and hold on tight. Cause we're taking off. Pack up here. Drag you in. Pack up here. In. We're on the way to New York City Take my hand and see Manhattan never looks so pretty Travel light and see the world right You'll never know if you never go So run away with me And say hello to New York City the whole time. So I feel like today was a success. Basically, I just gave myself 
way more freedom than I feel like I have been giving myself to be imperfect. I love writing. I love writing so much, but I think I just put, there's like a siren, sorry. I think I just put so much pressure on myself that sometimes it can make me like freeze up when it comes to my work in progress. And I am working on ways to kind of stop that from happening. So today going out and going to a really cool tea shop and just making it more of a fun experience, I think definitely helped me a lot. While I'm downtown, I thought I'd swing over to my favorite pasta shop and pick up Italian food. And we're early here. It's gonna take them about 20 minutes. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take out the book that I am currently reading and we'll go next door and we can get like a latte or something and just kind of chill out until the food is all ready. So let's go. Run away with me. We're on the way to New York City. Take my hand and see Manhattan never looks so pretty Travel light and see the world right You'll never know if you never go So run away with me And say hello to New York City Pretty. Travel light and see the world right But you never know if you never go So run away with me Stroll the midtown streets And tell me that you don't feel giddy Lady Liberty Ain't throwing us a wink or is she Travel light and see the world right You'll never know if you never go So run away with me And say hello to New York City go ahead and enjoy this Italian food. Thank you so much for joining me in this writing vlog today. I think it helped a lot to kind of get out of my regular writing routine and try to do something a little bit more fun and out of the box for me. Do you have any tips at all for overcoming a writer's block or writing anxiety? Please let me know because I know it's really, really common as writers to kind of self-doubt. Until next time, you guys, please keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book or writing one and I will talk to you later. Bye!